हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट अ न्यू सर्विस व्हिच आई डिप्लॉयड ऑन माय वेबसाइट फ्री मीडिया टूल्स डॉट कॉम सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ सेलेक्ट ऑप्शन ड्रॉप ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट जनरेटर काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन सो हियर इफ यू गो टू दिस एप्लीकेशन द लिंक विल बी देयर इनसाइड द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन सो हियर यू विल हैव अ टेक्स्ट एरिया सो हियर यू विल एंटर वन ऑप्शन पर लाइन यू विल सी you will enter your options here and then it will generate a select drop down in html with source code you can see i have written all the options here now if i click the generate select list you will see now it will have the drop down which you see inside html you can see which has all the options and now you will also have the source code you need not have to generate it on your own you can just make use of this tool which will automatically generate the html source code for this a select list that you have inside your html so if you click the copy to clipboard button it will automatically copy your html code successfully copied now you can just paste it inside your html so basically this will greatly increase the speed of your html coding because you need not have to write the same values again and again just fill out the options and then it will generate automatically the source code for you so this will be the application that we will be building in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to build this uh, the full source code of this application will be there inside the video description the second link which is my blog post here i have written step by step on how to get started so a single html file is required so click the copy to clipboard button here and copy all the source code and now we will build this application from scratch so now open your visual studio text editor so here we will write that app application so just create html file and for building this we are using some bootstrap for styling purposes so i think we also need jquery for this so we have included automatically you can see the jquery cdn and bootstrap cdn we can change the title to select drop down list generator in javascript and now we will make use of uh, the container class which is available inside bootstrap container and inside this we will have a simple heading which will say in the center position which is text center and inside this we will say select drop down list generator and after that we will have two break tags and then we will have a simple form which will have a id of form we need not have to have a action attribute and after that we will have a form group class of bootstrap and this will have a text area tag and we will attach a id to it of uh, options and it should be required so we will attach a attribute of required and placeholder will be enter options like this and we will ha also have a label just telling the user so enter options uh, one per line like this that's it uh, now after this guys we want to have a button simple button which will have uh, button btn btn danger and btn block and here we will have generate list that's it so now we need to write the javascript code just after we include the jquery make a script tag and here we will target the form which we have assigned the id to it so when the form submits like this first of all we will prevent the auto submission of the form and then we will get the options which the user has typed inside the text area so we have also given a id to it of options like this you can see options dot val val stands for value now we need to convert this uh, options that the user has entered inside the text area you will see into a array so now to convert this we will use a syntax you will see inside uh, yeah you can see we will use a split method which will all convert this into a array so let me just show you you can see we are using splitting we are splitting it uh, by a new line so when the new line comes we will store it inside a array so this will convert this into a options array 
if I console log it. And now if I open this application with live server, so you will see any option that I enter here. If I inspect element and show to you. And now if I enter here, any option here. So basically it, it this will store it inside an array. So you will see seven elements are there, each having its own index number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's exactly what we want. Uh, you can see the styling is not proper because we forgot to add a class to the text area, which is a bootstrap class, which is form control. So just add this class and now you will see the styling is good. Now we simply need to uh, uh, make a result variable, a global variable right here and just after the form we need to create a div which will have a preview which will show the select field select list and then we have we will be having a text area which will have the id of code let me just surround this inside its own form group class so just attach its own form group class like this so basically this will have all the HTML code of the select list that is generated and uh, we will attach a form control class to it and the placeholder will be simply output code and we will also be having a label for output code that's it so we have attached a ID also to it code here you can see that and now we can simply create this result variable so we can use for each here for each loop which is available inside javascript i think mm, for each i think this loop is available so let me just copy paste it so first of all you will you will add this uh, append this into a, this result variable because for this select field this is the bare bone html which is required here you can see div class form group label for select list and select class form control so this is a bare bone html which is required you can see that you also need need not have to have this class of form control we can even remove this we can just have the label in the select field that's it so just close this bracket here oh sorry quote and after this we will have this uh, for loop you can see if I just copy paste it so we will use the for each loop for each you can see this is a loop here we will provide the array which is options and for each option we will have uh, we need to append the option tag which is available inside select as you know so we can say result we will append again we can use the backtick symbol option and inside this option here we can provide the value which is uh, value will be the option like this and also we need to provide the label as well like this that's it so now this will append all the options which which are available we are using the for each loop after appending this we just need to attach one more we need to close this so result plus minus or oh sorry plus is equal to and then again we need to close the select tag that's it so this is our select tag appended now we just need to attach this in uh, into the preview here we need to select target preview and we will use the html method and we will pass result so basically this will show the uh, select list rendered on the screen with the options that you have specified and also let me just show you what is looking like if i have the options here and click generate list you will see your list here with all the options here you can see and also we need to have this output code as well so for the output code we will uh, target the text area and we will manipulate the value and the value will be we need to format this html code as well 
so let me just show you how it is looking like if i just have the re result if i click generate list you will see this will have oh sorry i think undefined is coming because we haven't initialized this result variable so in just initialize it to nothing and this error will gone here so again you have options here and you can see now we have this uh, html code which is rendered out but you can see this html code is not formatted it is not looking good and in order to format this html code there is a simple uh, function we will write you can just find this function inside my blog here we have written this function format this takes the HTML code and this uh, formats it according to the, to the rules that is defined inside this function. So basically just declare this function at the bottom here and you can see format just we need to call this function and we will split uh, we will remove the spaces here also we will use the trim function and then we will pass this inside this format you can see format we are passing this value and now you will see the code will be perfectly aligned have all the options you can see we are providing options here and after you provide your options you will see this is your html code which is generated and this is your select list you can see perfectly working code here you can see that now we simply want the copy to clipboard button such that the user if i click that button we will be copy pasting that code and for that we will declare one other form group for after this we will have button primary button block and this will say copy to clipboard and if i click this button i need to execute this method here which is copy to clipboard so basically i think this is the uh, but it is not there inside this block so i will update update this block whenever i if i add this so the application is complete you can see that now the application is working so you can just have this you can see the select list is generating i will update update the code inside the block you can just bind a on click listener and then you can execute that code so this was the tutorial guys thanks very much for watching this tutorial the link will be there inside the video description for the whole source code and for the live demo please check out my website freemediatools.com for all the other services that i offer please share this website with your friends and i will be seeing you in the next video.